So Google just dropped in their last Google I.O. this amazing tool that is some sort of music generator uh, it can be used also to create some sort of live performance. So I was watching Mark Rebillet's performance in, in the Google I.O. event and you know when I saw it I was like okay sure it's cool whatever but then I went to try it and I was like what the hell like this actually works. So let's go through it a little bit and how it works. Here you have the main interface. You hit play. And in my opinion, this kind of sounds already like a track. The most amazing thing that you can do is that you can mix different music styles. So let's say that here I grab now the BC, which is a is a pianist that I really like. Um, so then you grab the BC. Then you hit play again. So now it's adding this kind of DBC style of chords. You know, DBC is kind of famous because his music is super dreamy. And it just did that. Like, insane. And you can give more weight to one of the um, prompts or more weight to the other prompt. So let's say that I want it to sound more like DBC than lo fi house. So now I drop the beat and started kind of playing. So that's insane to me. And you know, like maybe it's not perfect the whole time, but you need to remember that you are giving it some text and it's making music. So this is like if you if you have a, a friend who plays piano and you say, hey, can you play some flamenco? And then he just goes and plays flamenco. You have that here. And although it's not perfect at this point, it is going to get better. And I don't know, like, will we listen to AI music in the future? I don't know, probably. That's a DJ mode. Then you can switch to the other mode that is like you give it a prompt and then it gives you a 30 second audio file so imagine that you say a jazz piano sample for a lo-fi beat So what this is giving you, they are audio files that you can resample and then use it in your DAW or whatever. So imagine that you want some, some bit, you want something that you know you don't find a sample that you like or you don't you don't find the right sound or whatever, then you can just ask, hey, can you make this? And it probably can. So imagine how this is gonna change music making world. I, in my opinion, at the beginning, AI wasn't going to be a big thing in the music making because the human mind, the human touch is so important that I never gave too much credit to AI. But this is really, uh, this is really impressing me. So now I'm kind of changing my mind and I think AI is going to be a thing. So I really want to see how this develops and how this can be integrated into some music producer workflows. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. I mean, it kind of gave me the whole bit. <laughs>